Hello and welcome to a session of Fit Essentials. My name is Shauna. I'll be guiding you through class. We are going to use a shorter TheraBands if you have them for the first part of our warm-up today. So go ahead and grab those if you have them. Otherwise, go ahead and come on up to your feet. All right, everybody got my band on around the thighs, upper part of the knees. If you don't have it on just yet, no problem. We're going to start with our breathing. Feet about hip width apart, toes pointing straight ahead, standing nice and tall. We're going to breathe in, circle the arms around, palms together, forearms together, and then exhale, gently bow down, chin towards the chest. Good. On our inhale, we're going to open, lift and open, breathe in, divide the arms, squeeze the glutes, looking up towards the ceiling. We're gonna go about three to five cycles here. Exhale, close it down and in. Pull that chin to the chest, bowing forward. Inhale, open. Squeeze that bum as you open the backside. A little bit longer exhale than normal. Good, a few more. Use this time to center yourself. Really fill your body with some good airflow. Okay, two more. Very nice. Last time. Finish that last exhale. And go ahead and relax those arms down. Very good. I'm gonna lower this hand off for just a moment. We're gonna go one hand on the hip, a little side stretch here. So we're gonna reach up and across, stretch out that side body, nice long reach, pull that hand down and in. I'm gonna stretch across about three times and then switch. So same side, bringing it down and reaching across. Very good, same thing, other side. Hand to the hip, root down in those legs, reach, breathe in and exhale. One more. Fantastic. From here, just gonna do a few tor torso rotations. So reach those arms straight out, rotate your body, follow with your head, pulling that one arm across the body, back to center, same thing other side. Pull those arms across, right about shoulder heights. Just whatever feels comfortable for you to get into a nice twist there. Let's go one more time each side, taking it around. Back to center and same thing, second side. Very good. From here, walk those feet back in, toes pointing straight ahead. We're gonna do a few good mornings, hands behind the head, little bend into those knees. Pull that belly button in as you bow forward, chin in, looking down. Squeeze those glutes, stand straight up. Good, we're gonna do about five times here. Long spine, say hello to the back side of the thighs. Very nice. Over. And up, good. Maybe just a little bit more bend in those knees, Sharon. Just a gentle bend and then hinging at the hips. Very good. Last one, over and up. Fantastic. All right, if you don't have a mat out, you might want your mat and then we're gonna get into that uh, short band next. So go ahead and grab that if you don't have it nearby. We're gonna be doing 90 seconds of a side uh, step, so lateral walk with some squats built in. Let's warm up those ankles first. So if you're grabbing your bands, you can catch up with this part when you're ready, grip those toes down, come up on one leg and roll that ankle around about five times one way and about five times the other. Very good, set it down, same thing other side. Place the foot, lifting everything up. Grip those toes for extra balance and think about squeezing the shoulders back behind you. All right, we're gonna be doing two rounds of this. It's gonna be a minute and a half of that lateral step. You're gonna do about three squats before you switch directions. And then we're gonna come down on the floor, our side plank dip with leg lift. So you'll be able to keep the band on. You won't be really utilizing it on the floor, but it can just stay on the legs throughout. All right, let's go ahead and bring it up and around the knees. You can either go just above the knees or just below the knees. Both of them will activate the glutes quite well. So whatever is most comfortable for you. From here, find a spot, kind of come to the edge of your area. And then we're just gonna come down to a little, little bit of a partial squat. And then when you're ready, lateral steps, toes pointing straight ahead, stepping it out. 
When you get to the end of your space, heels down, knees drive wide. I'm gonna go about two to three squats. Sinking back. Take your time warming up into that. And we'll take it back the other way. So we got a full 90 seconds here, so quite a bit of time. We got some squatting in our main circuit today. That's our first 30 seconds. It's one time down and back for me. I'm gonna try it about two more times. But utilizing this as a warm up, so more about quality range of motion, nice and smooth as you step, pushing out against that band the whole time. Excellent. And that's our first minute, 30 seconds left, and we'll make our way down to the floor. There you go, good. Reaching those arms out, help keep that chest up as you squat. Fantastic. Taking it back. Can I finish yourself out on this circuit so that you can go maybe even on each side? And we're gonna make our way down to the floor. Wonderful, that's our 90 seconds. We'll take about 15 seconds to transition. And let's start on your left arm once you make your way down. So I'm gonna pull that left arm right underneath that elbow, either on your knees or straight legs. And here we go. You first come up into that side dip, come back down to the hips. You can go knees bent, pulling them into the chest to start. Engage the glutes, push them up and in. If the knees bent felt okay, you can start to go straight legs, reaching them up, push those hips up and forward, down, roll it back. Making sure that we're not arching the back as you pull those Knees towards the chest or feet towards the hand. Good. Breathe. Pause on the top of that dip into that side plank. We get that lower activation of the midline and the glutes. Fantastic. Maybe one more rep here. and rotate good job swing it around same thing other side so pull that elbow in stack it well two one here we go dip first into that side plank bridge and then roll it back onto those hips either knees bent or leg straight you could also do a single leg here we didn't talk about that you could lift one leg up instead of two you need to bring the band off the legs if you're going to do that otherwise both legs together Very nice. So our first of two rounds, halfway through this second side. After we finish this side on the side plank, dip and leg raises, we're gonna come back up to our feet for one more circuit of those lateral walks. Nice. Do one more up and pause, sit it back and nice long reach, fantastic. All right, feel free if you wanna grab a drink of water, making your way back up. We're gonna start in 10. So if you had the band below the knees, maybe try it above the knees this time, see if you can feel any difference. I was above the knees, now I'm gonna go below. Three, two, one, here we go, set two. Making sure the midline is pulled in, shoulders down out of the ears. Again, two to three squats when you get to the end of your space. Excellent. Chest tall, stepping it out. Wonderful. There you go, very nice. Don't need to have a lot of resistance with the band, just depending upon your experience with it. Good. Smile, enjoy the movement. Breathe through that burn. Halfway through, that's 45 seconds. It's two cycles, good, nice and intentional. Excellent. Woo. Back and down. 
I'm gonna finish this cycle and then make my way to the floor. You still have 20 seconds to finish that full 90. Try to finish on an even note from side to side. Very good. Just under 10 seconds to finish that 90. I'm all done, even it out there. When you are done, you can take the band off the legs before we make our way back down. There's the 90. So go ahead and finish it out. And we'll start in 10 seconds on that side plank dip. Left arm first. Pull that elbow in. Either on the knees or on the toes. And here we go. Up and pause. Down. Belly button pulled in as you reach long or knees bent. Just make sure you don't feel like your back is arching to lift those legs up. Good, smooth breathing. Get that finished position, hip bridge, down, rotate, point those toes if you can. Just over halfway, 20 seconds left. Excellent. Almost there. Maybe one more. Pause in that dip. Sit it back and reach for those toes. All right, swing it around. Same thing, other side. And three, two, one. Here we go. Up and pause. Down. Sit back. Pull those feet high. Wonderful. Just that momentary pause on the top of that side plank, holding that bridge for just a moment and then taking it down, sitting onto the side of my hip. Good, halfway through. So I exhale into both positions. I exhale as I pull my feet to my hands and as I bridge those hips up. <laughs> yep, work on your balance there. Sometimes we topple back. It's happened to me too. 10 seconds. Last one. And go ahead and rest. Fantastic. If your water is close by, feel free to grab a drink. Otherwise, we're going to make our way onto your back for some stretching. We're going to start with our windshield wipers of the hips. So set the shoulder blades back and down. Walk your feet so they're flat on the ground, about hip width apart, maybe slightly outside the hips. And then just as it sounds, we're gonna imagine our legs are like windshield wipers, dropping the legs to one side, up and across, and same thing on the other side. Nice and smooth. Let's get about three times each way. Just inviting those hips to open. Very good. Once you finish that, the low back's a little bit stiff. Go ahead and hug those legs in and rock yourself side to side here. You can either stay there or take the arms out to the side, legs together, and two knee twists. Bringing both legs across, turn the head, looking over the opposite shoulder. Engage that midline, pull them up and across. Same thing other way. Legs across, turn the head. You control how far you want to drop into that twist. Use your midline to control how far down those legs go to the floor. Still turning the head in the opposite direction. Even it out on both sides. Fantastic. We're going to keep the knees bent, place the feet flat on the ground. We're going to go about five to 10 uh, glute or hip bridges here. I'm going to warm up that backside just a bit more. We got a lot of the hip stabilizers in our warm up, and now let's get the backside of those glutes to fire. Up and pause, down and relax. Anywhere from five to 10. We'll take about 45 seconds here. So you can hold for as long as it feels comfortable on the top. Not worrying about how high you can get your hips immediately and allow that low back time to warm up. And only go up as far as you can, avoid any kind of pinch into that low back. Gently rocking down. The higher you are able to get those hips, the more you wanna think chin in towards the chest. Pulling that chin in, squeeze the bum, and down and relax. Good. Couple more. Opening up the front of those hip flexors while we activate the backside of the glutes. 
Take it in for one more hold up and squeeze. And down and release. Fantastic. Go ahead and roll over onto your side. We're going to stretch out those quads. So feel free to prop up on your elbow, bend the top leg, grab the foot. We're looking to pull that heel towards the glute. Nice. Gently pulling back, gently drive the thigh back. Just want to be gentle with the stretches, encouraging the body and the muscles to lengthen without trying to force it. And go ahead and release there. Swing yourself around. Same thing, other leg. Extend the bottom, pull the top in, driving that leg back. Very good. About another 15 seconds. If you're just now getting into that stretch, hold a little bit longer. There you go. And three, two, one. Go ahead and release that foot when you're ready. We're gonna make our way over to all fours. We're gonna be supporting on our hands a little bit later in the session. So while we're down here, we're gonna stretch out our forearms, loosen up our wrists. So feel free to start by Getting some rotational movements through the wrist. Full circles, partial circles, three to five times one direction, and then switch three to five the other. Get all those little bones moving. Excellent. Once you finish that, you're going to make your way onto all fours. You're going to go palms down, turn your fingers so they point in towards your body. Walk the legs out as needed, and then you're just going to very gently lean back. Just so you feel a stretch on the front, on those forearms. Those forearms get really stiff. It changes the angle of how that wrist moves and functions. And sometimes it doesn't feel very good. So whenever you feel like you have some wrist discomfort, you can start with giving some attention to the forearms. From there, walk the hands so the fingers point in towards one another. You can kind of interlace those fingertips. And then we'll circle our body around. Nice big circular patterns here, not too big, medium. Three to five times one way. And three to five the other. Fantastic. Once you finish that, we're going to take it into child's position. Toes together, knees divide. Reach those arms straight out in front of your body. And you're going to rock your hips back. Lower your head down towards the floor. And see if you can breathe in and out the nose or in the nose and gently out the mouth as able. On the exhale, dropping just a little bit closer to the floor. One more here. Breathe and release. Fantastic. You're going to come back onto all fours. Let's place your left hand down underneath that left shoulder. Take your right hand behind the head. We're going to go about eight times here. You're going to bring the elbow into the opposite elbow, lifting up out of that left side shoulder. Turn your eyes, trying to peer up towards the ceiling or sky. Breathe in, close it down, and rotate. Exhale, peering up. Close and open, pausing in that open position. That's where you want to get the most rotation. Inviting that rib cage to get a little more rotation. We've got some overhead work coming up next. Single arm dumbbell thrusters. Close it down, opening it up. One or two more. Down and up. Last one. Good. Before we jump to the other arm, we're going to go into down dog. So spread those fingers out, grip the fingertips down, turn the toes under, driving those hips straight up and just gently pulse your head between the arms. Gently pulsing back. And give a little love to those calves, walking the heels out, drop, lowering one heel down and then the other. Ooh, low, set it back, walking it side to side. Fantastic. Once you finish walking out those heels, we're going to make our way back down to the knees and thoracic rotations on the opposite side of the body. So nice wide handprint with your right hand, left arm behind the head, lifting up out of that right shoulder. You're going to lower down, breathing in, and then exhale into that rotation. Breathe in to close. Exhale as you open, peering up.
Good. Roughly eight reps or so here. Fantastic. A few more. I'm going to go one more. And release when you finish that one. Go ahead and come off those hands for a second. Shake it out. Next, we're going to do a couple of slow motion mountain climbers before we make our way up to our feet. We have our mountain climbers coming up in our final circuit today. So we're going to use it right now just to open up those hips. So place the hands just underneath the shoulders. You're gonna come up like you're in the top of a push-up. You're gonna start with your right foot. Take a nice long step, trying to get that right foot as close as you can to the right hand. And ideally you wanna get that heel on the ground. And we're gonna start with just kind of sinking side to side here. So reposition the foot as needed. Shin should be vertical on that front leg. And again, I'm just very, very gently rocking my body side to side, inviting that hip to open. Very good. When you're ready, step that right foot back and then same thing, opposite side, left foot this time. Nice long reach. Shimmy it up as much as you need. And we're going to go our side to side rocks on this left side. Shin should be nice and vertical. Heel flat, whole foot flat on the ground, ideally. You want to avoid having that knee shoot way forward. All right, we're going to do one more time on each leg. So we'll step the left foot back. We're gonna make our way back to the right foot, up onto the heel, and this time instead of side to side, now we're gonna circle through the hips. Just some nice little mini circles. Two to three times one direction, and then switch directions two to three times the opposite. Very good, and you finish those little circles, step in it back, same thing on your left side. Get that foot into position first. And this is a little bit bigger step than we'll do with the mountain climbers later in the hour, but just using it for some mobility work, really opening the hips. Two to three circles one way, two to three circles the other, stepping it back. And then we'll go into one more down dog before we make our way inch, way, inch worm our way up to our feet. So pushing through that mid back, walking out those heels. And then when you're ready, you're going to gradually crawl those feet to the hands, crawl those hands to the feet, root down into your legs and make your way on up. All right, go ahead and grab some water. We have two exercises in our next piece. We're going to be doing our single arm dumbbell thrusters. So we're going to do one more stretch for the upper body before we get going. And a bent over kneeling torso row. So a little bit of rotational work in that single arm row. You can use a chair or a bench for the support on the row, or you can just stand in like a long lunge. All right, but let's go ahead and get a little bit more opening through that upper body. So we're gonna do our stagger stance, tricep side bend. You're gonna step your left foot forward, right foot back. Make sure that your ribs are tucked down and in and go ahead and reach your right arm straight up. Pull that chin in, lengthening through the spine, bend the elbow reaching up. And now when you're ready, you're gonna just gently bend toward your lead leg. Breathe in, lengthen, and then exhale, taking it to the side. See if you can kind of do a little combo move here, squeezing that glue to that trail leg. So pushing that hip forward, up and down. So if you're not in a stagger stance, there you go, Sharon. Go, you're gonna stagger the feet, a couple more. Lengthening through the neck, we tend to kind of drop that head forward and relax those arms down. In between the side, in between sides, we're gonna go behind the back stretch. So standing tall, interlace those hands, pull those elbows back, lift those arms up without arching that back. Then root down if you'd like, take it into a forward fold, bowing forward, lifting those arms up. And breathe here in the back side of the rib cage. Good, one more breath. And then root down into your legs. Go ahead and come on up. Shake it out. Same thing, opposite side. So now your right foot is forward. Left foot steps back. Standing tall. Left arm reaches up. Bend that elbow. Reach around. Grab it. And now we're bending towards your right side. Breathe in as you come back to center. And then just gently exhale as you take it to the side. Good. Three to five here. 
Squeezing the glute, gently inviting that hip to push forward. Nice, couple more. And the last one. And shake it out. All right, very nice. We just a little sidestep arm swing here. Open up the chest. We did quite a few squats in that first part of the warm up, but let's make sure everything's still firing there. If you want to hold a light weight, you can. I'm just going to kind of show you this movement that we're going to do. Then we'll grab a drink and we'll get started. So with the single arm dumbbell thrust, you're going to hold that weight right up at the shoulder. Feet about hip width apart, slight toe out. You feel free to do this with me here. As you sit the hips back, your non-working arm is going to reach out, encourage that chest to stay tall, and push through your legs. Stand. And when you get to the top of that squat, you're going to push that dumbbell straight up to overhead. We're going to make it a little bit more smooth than that. So reaching back as you stand, drive those hips coming out of the squat and take it right to overhead. So we go back, up, and drive. Very good. Let's go ahead and even it out. We'll go three reps on the opposite arm. Same idea. When you're holding this weight up at the shoulder, think about keeping that shoulder active, elbow forward, controlling down, sinking back, stand, pushing straight up. There we go, reaching back, eyes up, breathe. One more, sink back, stand, and drive. Awesome. But in between arms, we're gonna be doing that bent over row called a kneeling torso row because we're gonna have a little bit of a rotation. So I'll show it with the stagger stance on the warm up here, and then I'll use the box and chair once we get started. So I'm gonna pull the arm straight up and in. You can either go there if you have a little bit heavier weight that you're working with. If you feel comfortable to add a rotation, you're gonna rotate the top, turn the eyes and the head, reaching down, elbow comes high, and then gently rotating. Let's get one more on this side, up and in, rotate and release just for fun. Make sure we even ourselves out for this warm up. Supporting down, elbow high, gently rotate, reaching forward, and I'll exhale into that movement. So I'm exhaling, get as much air out of the lungs, you know, but not overly exhaling, just a nice gentle exhale. About three reps there. And let's grab some water before we get started. Why did I set it? It's hiding. So depending upon your comfort with it, you can use the same weight throughout. You can go a little bit heavier. As we go through, we're gonna have three sets. We'll rest for 15 seconds in between movements, 30 seconds in between sets. All right, we're gonna start in 10. I invite you to start on your left arm, but I'm assuming that's your non-dominant arm. So if you're stronger on the left than the right, start on your weaker side. Three, two, one, here we go. Control all the way into that squat, driving it straight up. This is a great movement too. If you have anything going on that doesn't feel comfortable to squat, you could just do the upper body portion, just straight up and down here. Same idea. If you have anything going on with the upper body that doesn't feel good to squat, you can just, or no, you know what I mean. If it doesn't feel good to press overhead. You can just do the squat portion. Hold the weight here throughout. Good, almost there. And there's our 30. Good job. We're gonna keep the weight on the same side. Again, make any changes that you need. If you have a bench or a chair to support on, I'm gonna keep my feet just more parallel to each other. Midline nice and strong, support through the hand. And here we go, reaching down, up and pivot. Still trying to get a little rotation there. Reaching forward, exhale as you rotate. Breathe in to reach. And you'll feel it's normal. You have some rotation through the hips here as well. It's the whole idea. I'm gonna kind of move that whole body. 10 seconds left. Breathe in to reach forward. Exhale as you pivot. Last one. And go ahead and rest. Good job. Same thing, opposite side of the body. Nice deep breath. Set those feet. And three, two, one, here we go. Awesome. First of three rounds, so pace yourself through it. Reaching that non-working arm out. Excellent. Just make sure those of you that are, including that full reach overhead, you don't wanna arch back. So front of the ribs should stay down throughout. Sinking back, driving up. 
Go maybe one more. And rest. Fantastic. Kneeling torso row, same side of the body. Set those feet. Nice wide handprint. Three, two, one. Here we go. Reaching forward, pulling that elbow up, and pivot nice and high. Breathe in to reach. Exhale on that row. If you have any discomfort in your low back that the twisting doesn't feel good today, if you just keep your head and your torso square and just move through that arm, elbow nice and high. Otherwise, it feels good to rotate. I do encourage you to do that. Last one. And rest. Fantastic. We're going to take 30 seconds. That's set one. Do it twice more. It's a great time. Grab a drink of water. If you want to make any changes to the weights that you're using, this is a great time to do it. Back to work in 10. So back to your non-dominant arm. Set those feet about hip width apart and three, two, one, set two. Breathe in to lower, exhale as you drive out. Good. There you go, good, staying strong in the bottom. Nice. You wanna keep that depth without getting kind of loose in the bottom. So you don't wanna feel like you lose that engagement of the midline. Good, and two, one, rest and rotate. Fantastic, I'm gonna show the long lunge position this time. Even if you're supporting your hand, if you feel better to stagger your feet, you can. Same side, holding the dumbbell steps back. Two, one, here we go, elbow high, and then you rotate. Breathe into reach, exhale on the row. Good, so I'm making a point to keep that shoulder down out of the ear. We tend to shrug those shoulders up into the ear. Good work. Also good practice, just kind of pause on the top of that rotation, hold it for a moment, and then reach. Two, one, and rest. All right, 15 seconds. Second side, second round. Getting ready. Set those feet. Three, two, one, here we go. Breathe. Ideally a similar tempo as your first arm is the side. Good. Try not to get stuck in the bottom of that squat, sinking down, push your feet into the ground, driving up. So regenerate that force, driving that chest tall. Downward push the legs. Go so maybe one more. And rest. Fantastic. Torso row. Same side of the body. Set those feet. Nice long stance. Making sure that front heel is planted. Two, one, and begin. As you reach forward, look down towards that front foot. And then as you rotate, follow the elbow, gazing up. Breathe in to reach. Exhale as you row. Good, 10 seconds. Hanging strong here into set two. Last one. And rest. Fantastic. All right, 30 seconds. We'll be into our final round. If you've got anything going on, if you're a little bit more tired today than other days, feel free to take this last round off. Otherwise, we're going back to it in 10 seconds. Non-dominant arm. Get those feet ready for the squat. And two, one, here we go. And if you have good energy today, if you want to pick up the tempo a little bit on this last round. Good, eyes up. We do have a little bit more squatting in our final circuit. So keep that in mind as you move. 
Wonderful. Almost there. And rotate. Awesome. I'm going to come back, demo off the chair, but from a stagger stance this time. So if my left hand's holding the weight, my left foot's going to step back. Three, two, one. Here we go. Reaching forward, pivot. I'm going to kind of lifting up out of the hip of the front leg. Breathe in to reach. Exhale on the row. Good. Halfway. Stay patient in the top. That's where you get the most benefits. A little bit of rotation. Pulling that shoulder blade back and in, building that strong posture through the shoulders and back. And rest. Woo. All right, almost there. One more time, second side of the body. All right, set those feet, getting ready for the last set of squats on the thrusters. Here it is. Sink it back, driving through. Keeping those eyes up, looking straight ahead. Wonderful. Halfway now. You got it. Be one or two more. Two, one, and rotate. Fantastic. Final single arm row. A nice deep breath as you get set. You're going to that stagger stance. Same side, holding the weights. Gonna step back and begin. Breathe in to reach. And breathing rate might be a little higher this time. So you might find that you're exhaling on the up and the down. That's all right. And then meet your body where it is. It's normal for that breathing rate and heart rate to elevate as we go through the session. One or two more. And all done there. Whew. All right, come on up. Let's give a little twist to the torso. Can I shake it out? <sighs> couple nice deep breaths. Fantastic. All right, grab your water. Got one circuit left. It's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge than we normally do today. First exercise is a burpee. I'm gonna recommend a no push-up burpee. If you do want some more upper body work and do a full push-up, you're welcome to it. And remember, you can do an elevated burpee where you support your hands on like the seat of a chair or a box. Step or hop the feet back, holding nice and strong in this plank position. Stepping them up, engage the glutes, reach up to overhead. I may be working off the floor, but that's always an option. Even for those mountain climbers, you can go elevated with the upper body, pulling the knee towards the same side elbow, holding nice and strong through your midline, okay? So we have three exercises. We're gonna burpee for 30 seconds, rest for about 10. Squatting for 30 seconds, option if you want to hold some weights. And if you're like, hey, I've had enough squatting today, if you're okay to do us a couple of jumping jacks or step jacks, that would be our sub for the squats. And then our third exercise coming down for some mountain climbers. We'll have 30 seconds rest in between rounds. We're gonna go anywhere between three and five sets. We'll kind of see how everybody's feeling as we move. All right, we're gonna start with our burpees in 15 seconds. I'm gonna hold weights on the second round for the squats. I'm just gonna go air squats on the first. But first we have burpees going in three, two, one. Here we go. Nice wide handprint, step it out. Step or hop, engage those glutes as you reach up. Very good. You are stepping your feet. See if you can notice which side do you step, tend to step with and look to alternate. Sometimes step back with the left and up with the left. And then on that next rep, try to step back with your right and then up with your right. Good. And I see some of you are already doing, adding that little straight jump if you choose. Last one and everybody rest. Good, squats are next. You can hold weight if you want. I'm gonna go unweighted first round. Set those feet and here we go. Sinking down, standing tall, breathe just depending again on your fitness level 
energy levels. If you want to go a little bit more rapid fire here, you can. Otherwise, just steady pace. You want to get ready for those later rounds. 10 seconds. Good. Eyes stay up. Chest stays tall. If you look down towards the ground, you tend to lose your chest forward and rest. All right, back down to the floor. Now for our mountain climbers. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Good support. And here we go. We're just bringing the knees towards the elbows, not worrying about bringing the feet all the way up. Holding a nice, strong, hollow body, meaning not letting ourselves sink between our shoulders. And keep that breathing going. Tends to send our heart rate high as we kind of compress our diaphragm as we bring that knee up. Good, moving well. Two, one, and everybody rest. Woo! All right, come on up, grab a drink. That set one will take 30 seconds. We'll do it a few more times. All right, and remember if you're done with the squatting for the day, jumping jacks or step jacks for the second exercise. Otherwise, back to burpees in five, three, two, one. Here we go. You can continue to step, or if you're comfortable to hop your feet, you can hop your feet back and up. Ideally, you want to think about not coming up on your toes, but getting down to those heels before you stand. Midline tight. Fire the glutes. Good. Ten seconds left. On the ground and off the ground. Two, one, and rest. Good job. Jumping jacks or squats. If you want to hold a little bit of weight, feel free to pick up a dumbbell. Two, one, and begin. Just a really short rest break here. So anytime you maybe don't feel ready to go, we well, can always take that exercise off. Take a full round off if you need. You just don't want to get sloppy with your movement. Sometimes when we get fatigue sets in, you start to lose that coordination. So rest if you feel like your form is falling apart. Last one and rest. All right, mountain climbers. And remember, you can always go elevated on those mountain climbers. Three, two, one. Here we go. Knee toward the same side elbow. Nice solid plank. Having your eyes looking straight down between the hands. Fantastic, good focus. You can gently touch those elbows. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. And there's our rest break. Excellent, two down, 30 seconds off. I'm gonna go two more rounds. Nice work. All right, 15 seconds left in the rest. Oops, burpees are first, going in 10. <sighs> Ready, begin. Wide hand print, support down. If you are jumping, just make sure you stay tight in that midline. Sometimes it tends to be a little bit more stress on that low back. Good. And it's normal when we, when we go vertical and then horizontal with my, our torso, our heart kind of changes levels. It shoots our heart rate up. So pace as needed and rest. Excellent. From the burpees to the squats, option to hold a weight or air squats. Nothing wrong with taking the weight off. Here we go. Second to last set. Excellent, good, great depth there. Try to sink those hips below the knees, especially if you can do so without any pain. 10 seconds left. There you go, way to use those arms. Good job, reaching them out. 
and rest. Awesome, mountain climbers. Second to last set. Splay those fingers nice and wide. Give a good support through those wrists. Two, one, and we're into it. End of set three. This is where my breathing gets faster. I'm kind of exhaling every time I pull my knee up. Inhaling as I reach my foot back, just like little quick breaths. Good, keep it moving. Holding strong. And everybody rest. Woo! If you've had enough, feel free to call it there. Hang out for our cool down. Otherwise, we've got our last round coming up in 20 seconds. <sighs> All right, staying focused. 10 seconds, final set of burpees. Staying positive, ready and begin. Stepping the feet as needed, looking to alternate which foot you step. Gonna come all the way to the all the way to the heels, even if you're stepping, nice big step, get that foot flat, and then push through those feet to come on up. 10 seconds. A little off of my time. We may have a little more time on these ones. That's all right. Maybe one more rep. And rest. Good. Final set of squats. If you want extra credit for a thruster, feel free to thruster it out this final round. Two, one, here we go. Control. Drive overhead if you'd like. Wonderful. Eyes up, ribs down. There you go. 10 seconds. Two, one, and rotate. Final push for mountain climbers. Widen that handprint, making your way on down. Ready, begin. Knee towards that same side elbow. Breathing through it. Good job. Watch for those hips to sink and watch for your upper body to drop in. So keep lifting up that midline. Halfway. Woo. There you go, you got it. Staying tight, staying strong. Last one each side. And we're all done. Who's it's gonna come on down to your knees. All right, here's a little round of applause. Shake it out. <sighs> nice work. <sighs> All right, keep yourself vertical here for a second on your torso if you're comfortable to sit back on your legs, kind of give a little minor stretch to the ankles, just shaking out those arms. All right, from there, we're gonna give some love to the inner thighs and a little bit of the upper body. So we're gonna place the hands underneath the shoulders, come on to all fours, and let's start with your left leg. You're gonna kick it straight out to the side and try to keep that foot flat on the floor as you do this. From here, you're gonna see I have my left arm kind of reaching across the right side of my body slightly, and now I'm dropping my hip back, trying to bring my hips back, trying to touch that right heel if I can. Coming back forward and rotating back. Lengthening this inner thigh here. And also this lateral portion of your shin. A few more, forward and back, lower that head down. Reaching that right arm across. A few more. Last one. And relax. Go ahead and walk that left leg in. Toe, big toes together, divide the knees, and we're gonna turn your palms up towards the ceiling or sky, for those of you that get to be outside today. Rocking those hips back. We'll uh, we call this our supinated child's pose. So palms are up and head sits back. Just slightly changes the angle and rotation through the upper body. So about one more breath here. 
Very good. We're going to come forward onto all fours before we switch that other side. We're going to go one more mobility piece here. Little cat cow, cat camel. Exhale, drop the head down, rounding through the mid back, and then inhale, drop the belly button down, lifting the head. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, gently arching. Just make sure it's not painful. Do a couple more. Rounding. And gently arching. Fantastic. Finish those out as you'd like. And then when you're ready, you're gonna stay in that all fours position. And this time it'll be your right leg that's gonna kick out. Looking to keep that foot firmly planted. And then gently rocking the hips back towards your left heel. When I have my back foot, that left foot's kind of up on the ball of the foot throughout. But if that doesn't feel comfortable, if you have any irritation into your bunion or whatnot, if it feels better to lay the top of the foot flat, that will work as well. Make sure it's not too much stress on the knee at all. About five times here, forward and back, reaching that right arm across the left side of the body. Last one. Fantastic. Well, let's go ahead. We're going to make our way back up to our feet. Standing. Some standing stretches to finish. And if you feel a little bit too tired, if you want to stay on the ground, you can. But otherwise, we're going to stretch out the quads and hips a little bit from standing. So you can either practice your balance now while you're a little bit more fatigued or stand near, to, near a wall. I'll bring my chair out for a little bit of support. And we're looking to repeat that quad stretch that we did from a side lying position earlier. Lifting up to that midline, gripping those toes down, look to grab that foot and pulling that heel back. Practice the balance here. Reaching out. That's 15 seconds. Upwards of 30. That's 20. And relax when you're ready. Set that foot down in between sides. And walk the feet wide. Place the hands on top of the thighs. And lower part of the thighs. Just gonna have a little rotational work here. Kind of push your one leg out, turn your head, look over that shoulder, back to center. Push your other leg out and turn the other side. So hands are on the thighs, nice and long through the arms. Breathe in as you come to center. Exhale as you go into that rotation. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and out. Wonderful. Finish that up. Come on back up. And then we'll go quad stretch on the opposite side. Place that foot, lift it up. Grab that foot. And this one can be easier said than done. So just be gentle on yourself. If you can't quite get that foot from standing, you can always take it back to the ground. It also can help if you have a rope or a band that you can wrap around your foot to grab onto. That's a good way to work your way into that flexibility to be able to grab your foot with your hand. And three, two, one, and shake it out. All right, fantastic. And we'll just finish a little tricep side bend, but this time feet just parallel to each other. Reach your right arm up, pull that chin in, bend the arm, reaching up and across, and take it to the side here. So stretching out the side of the body as well as that tricep three to five times up and down. Breathe in and exhale. We're gonna do one more and release. In between arms, let's give a little love to the hips with a couple hip circles here. Circle them through three to five times one way. Very good. And taking it back three to five the other. Fantastic. When you finish that side, triceps on the opposite, ribs down, reaching up. Lengthen through that spine as you bend that elbow up and grab, root down to those legs and take it to the side. Breathe in as you lengthen, exhale, inhale, good. One or two more. Take 
and release. All right, beautiful work today. Maybe a little doorway stretch, a little bit more love for the pecs. If you wanna go into a little bit of a figure four, you know, whatever feels best for your body, wherever you're gonna be feeling some tension. You know, the whole idea of these classes is for you to learn a couple of new movements, maybe learn what stretches find to give you the most benefit. And then don't just wait for classes to do them, do them on your own. Start to tune in when your body's asking for some movement, asking for some stretching, keep it healthy, keep it functioning well. All right. Take care. Uh, those of you here on Memorial Day, thank you for being here. Blessings to anyone that has lost people close to you. Those of you that have served, it's always appreciated. All right, talk to you later.